Washington narcotics. Idea why I'm here? Washington. Vincent Williams. We found about seven different kinds of drugs in his apartment. My guess it's a consumer relations dispute. Taking up collection for the widow? Because I'm strapped, Captain. Besides, I'm not working homicide anymore. Do her call in a confession. Mighty neighborly of him. His name's Lucas Atherton. You're gonna bring him in. Did I mention I'm not working homicide anymore? You're still gonna bust him. Why? Because you didn't bust them last year. Well, what, what are you talking about? I get you, this you and your partner ran surveillance on that kid last year. You built up a ton of overtime hours. You decided he was right as rain. Now we're bagging bullets. Uh, my ex-partner is driving a cab now. He was the one who dealt with it. I assume you know what he knows. Am I wrong? No, sir. Good. Africa. Thank you very much. Washington. Yeah, hey, what's with the 16 messages? You know, I miss our banter, our repartee, our masculine camaraderie. Uh-huh, what do you want? Well, how come I gotta warn something? I can't just call to say hi? No. What do you want? See, you know me. That's why we work so well together. Work, past tense, what do you want? Do you remember the case we worked with that kid from the main line you let slide on the crank thing last year? Lucas Atherton, he's a good kid, leave him alone. Yeah, he's very sweet, for a murderer. What? Mr. Atherton uh, the fifth buried the business end of a 38 up the ass of one Vincent Williams, well-known scumbag and dealer of fine consumer products of the needle and nose variety. I don't believe it, it wasn't him. Well, not according to young Mr. Atherton himself, who phoned in a confession before disappearing without a trace. Oh, man. Now, you know that rich little bastard better than anybody. You know where to look for him. This will take me a week. Hang on, let me look for my badge. Oh, gee, that's weird. I can't seem to find it. You don't have to come down to the station. I don't have to face anybody. I'm at the diner. Hanging up now. You owe me. What did you say? You heard. I owe you. I'm the one that... I'm the one that takes the rap for the both of us. I'm sitting in a cab waiting on a felony trial. I get kicked out of my own house and I owe you. Well, I'll help you with that thing, the um, kidnapped girl. Yeah, good for you. You're still going to hell. Maybe they'll give you a nicer room. I got to go. I'm very busy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on. It's not like I got all day. You the one call for a cab? Yeah, taxi, taxi. It's me, it's me. Careful. Easy, easy. Just sign here and we're done, Mr. Franco. Sign? Sign? Again with the signing? I signed inside. Standard discharge form. That's all it is. 
says I got you to the curb. From here, you're on your own. Sign my life away. That's what you're making me do. You get your form. Meanwhile, I'm dead. But you get your form. So you're happy. Am I right? Am I right? You sure you don't want to keep him? <laughs> Let's not have a third time, shall we? He's all yours. Enjoy. Crutches. All right. Yep. Let me help. No, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right. Door. At this point, I'm thinking door. All right. <laughs> this isn't funny, okay? I guarantee you this is definitely not amusing to me. Sorry, you're right. But you think I was kidding before when I was talking about getting killed? I made it up? Did I enjoy this drama? I'm not sure what to think. Exactly. You have no idea, okay? None whatsoever. So just keep your amusement to yourself, if you don't mind. You haven't got a clue. Well, I got a clue. Oh, really? Two broken legs, one cast fresh, the other maybe two weeks old. <clears throat> Unless you're a very bad skydiver, that's pretty hard to do. So what do you play? What got you to double stiff legs? Poker. It's a wrong game for you, buddy. With the mouth you got, good poker players I know, they don't talk that much their whole lives. Bad cards, that's all. Yeah, different 52 for you. What are you, my mother? I had a bad run. I owe a guy, it happens. The money isn't the problem. I've got the money this time. That's the funny thing, is that this time I actually have the money. But I can't even give him the money. Won't get the envelope out of my pocket before he pops me. Yeah, that sounds like the loan sharks I know. Couldn't care less about the money. You moonlighting? You a cop? Once. Well, you're too young to have retired. Medical discharge? Burnout? Or you just get tossed? I missed the part where you and I became good buddies. Donnie Franco. You can help me. Why in the world would I help you? The only reason anybody does anything. Sex? You're not my type. The other reason. I don't want your money. Except whatever's on the meter. I just need somebody to drop the money off for me. Now I'll lay low, in a couple of days, he'll cool off. What do you think of this car? You like the ride? Did you hear what I said? More leg room than the other cabs. Her doors are bigger, too. Oh, I love this car. Did you hear what I, I said? I heard, I heard. Look, keep the meter running. How much you make a night? I I I'll give you 250. Oh, yeah. I'll take your marker. It's so simple. It'll take you 20 minutes. We go to my place, I get the money. We go to O'Daniel's. You walk Who did in. you say? What? No, who? The guy? The guy, yeah. O'Daniel, why? That's who you owe? Eddie O'Daniel? Yeah. You know him? <laughs> Look, I gotta tell you again, I don't like this laughing. So smart you are not. Well, I needed money. He loans money. So you're right about one thing. He will kill you. These are your parishioners walking by. For all they know, it's a Diet Coke. You're an inspiration. You ever play cards with Donnie Franco? Oh, come on. Skinny guy, kind of looks like a ferret. That'd be him. Piece of crap. You give him a lift? Yeah. Wanted a favor. Don't do it. I'm not gonna. Whoa! <laughs> Six months I haven't done that to yeah. you. No, he cheats at cards. Not even good at it. God loves all his creatures, but this guy, piece of crap. Yeah, that was my first impression, too. What was he trying to rope you into doing? Saving his life. Literally? Yeah. Oh. He's a piece of crap. Yeah, he's a piece of crap that has a wife and two kids. No, he doesn't. 
No wedding band. Well, he could still have kids. You don't know. Uh, He's got parents. Well, let them save his punk ass. You want to help him, don't you? No. Not at all. You're here. Yeah, I'm having a beer with a friend. At a church. That I don't belong to. Yeah. Don't smile. I'm serious. Wipe that smug smile off your face. I don't like the guy. I don't want to help him. Here's my life savings. Your 250's in there, too. Why don't you let me go in for you? Uh, my place is a mess. Nah, besides, I had to make a phone call. And you never would have found it anyway. Here's a tip. When you tell a lie, try telling just one at a time. I'm not lying. That's the truth. I told you the truth. You're staying here. Oh, no. Ah, I go where my money goes. Fine. See if you can keep up. So, uh, what's the plan? You keep your mouth shut. I got a, uh, little present here for Eddie. Time out. No timeouts in hockey. Sure there are. No way. Since when? One per team per game. See? <laughs> hey, Olshansky. How's your new life treating you? Meeting lots of new and interesting people. Evening, Donnie. Hey. He thinks you're gonna kill him. You told him I wouldn't? No. I told him you would. Reputation is everything. No question. You're 250 short. There's 27.5 there. Yeah. He owes me three large. Oh, come on. You're going to shake this guy down for big? It's not worth the I trouble. I do one. Three large. There's 250 more in his pocket. My fare. I'll pay you. Okay, we're straight. Get out of here. My, uh, my marker's still good, right? Funny. he asked you politely to leave. Yeah, yeah, play all you want. Have a good time. Next time, you don't get the two courtesy warnings. Because it wasn't my fault. Um, it's important that you I know that. I really want to have a word with you outside. I got cheated. I'm paying it because it's you. But that guy who took my chips, that, that Morty guy, he was dealing from the bottom. I saw him, but it was too late. You're telling me Morty cheated? I don't want to get nobody in trouble, but... You won't. Morty's my nephew. My sister's kid. Nice kid. Polite. Smart as they come. But it still doesn't mean he's not a cheat. Oh, look, Eddie, you don't want to... You don't, don't want to do, Danny. <laughs> you got no more legs for me to break. He's jerking you around. Your, your, your nephew's not a cheat, am I right, Donnie? Teasing. Escort the cabbie to his car. No, Donnie, why don't you stick around? Boy, he's my ride. You don't need a ride. He's wired. Right. It's in the cast. You got a metal detector out front, check it out. All right, all right, no problem. I'm all coming, right. I'm I coming. No. Ah, 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 all right, thanks, Bob. Ah, 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 Thank you very much. Oh, that thing, that thing you said, that pin in my leg, that was brilliant. Ah, set the siren off. They never even would have figured. You should have told me you came up with a new plan going in. 
screw me over and get yourself killed? I mean, it's not like I'm not open to new ideas. Hey, ah, this is where I move the cards, okay? It's where I earn my livelihood. I got a reputation to keep up. Oh my God, you are <clears throat> diseased. Yeah? You got a beautiful future. Enjoy your remaining five or ten minutes on Earth. Hey, you want to get some eggs or something? What's the matter? Oh, that sucks. Brand new Crown Vic. Did I mention that? Worse, you wouldn't have even come here if you weren't trying to help me. You can't resist it. It's in your system, like some virus. I knew you'd show. You also know my cab would get boosted. I need it back by 6 a.m. So I find a cab, you find a kid? Yeah. First the kid? First the GRM. You want me to put out an alert on a stolen cab? Tell him it's vital to a murder investigation. Oh, well, that makes sense. God, I hate this neighborhood. Go for its house on the next block over. Take a right. We gonna have a problem with her knowing about you? Never matter. So take a right. I better cover your ears when I get out of the car. All the black man alarms are gonna go off. That's a good one. I never heard that one before. Take a left up here with the white one. Oh, they're all white. Boom. Two in a row. So, I'm down at the station the other day. White boy walks in. 28, 29, wearing a bag. bag. Walks up to the desk sergeant, leans over and says, I got a gun. Really? That's what I say. So everybody in earshot, you know, we got a hand on our piece in about a half a second. Why haven't we heard any flash out of my cab? So the desk sergeant says, what did you say? And a white boy says, I said, I got a gun. You know. For the amnesty program. Naturally. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. The girlfriend's father gave her a 38. She doesn't want it. Here it is. Where's my hundred bucks? So everybody relaxes, decides not to blow his head off. And what kind of idiot walks into a metro station house and says, I got a gun? Thank you. So I'm looking around the waiting room, you know, and there's all these brothers and whatnot. And this PR looks at the white boy, shakes his head, and says, Man, if you were black as Spanish, you'd be face down on the tile with no teeth right now. He's right. Why? Why is he right? Why is that true? Why would a brother be face down on the tile with no teeth? White boy gives a Diet Coke and a hundred bucks. Why? Because of racism? Aha. Uh -huh. Take a left. This is their driveway right here. It's the number one problem people don't want to talk about. You think I let the kid walk on the crank because he was white? Did I say that? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you did. We worked together for 10 years, and you think I'm a racist? I think everybody's a racist. Your junkie snitch, he gives you a tip, the kid's a player. So I follow him, I meet him, I play him. And does a kid miss any school to head up to New York? No. Down to Bogota? No. No, he invites me to a school exhibit of his photographs. Does he offer to sell me any dope? Invite me in on a deal? No. He invites me over for dinner. Wants to introduce me to his parents. Drug dealers do have parents, you know that, right, Mike? Your snitch wastes three weeks of our time, and you're pissed at me? Would have been a waste if you busted the kid. Why, because he offered to get high with me in his bedroom? Under his Anna Kornikova poster? See, this is what I'm saying. Anna, not Serena. <gasps> Philly PD, Mrs. Cumble. Open the door, please.
Put that down. <laughs> All right, who am I this time? Well, I feel friendly. No, oh, give me the door. Miss Cumble, our apologies for barging in at this hour. I assume you know your boyfriend, Lucas Atherton, is wanted for murder. Please, sit down. Did you see Lucas the night of the shooting? We understand. We want to protect him. So do we. We just want to bring him in safely, and we hope you can help us. Either you didn't see him, or you did see him. It's a real simple question, and it's a real simple answer for us to check out. I went to see Vincent around midnight on Monday. Vincent Williams, the shooting victim. Why? Because I was pissed. He was selling some of that crap to one of my friends and it was killing her. Are you sure you didn't go for yourself? I told you why I went. Do you have a search warrant? Uh, we're just here to ask a few questions, ma'am. You don't use? No. Crank? Totally clean. Blood test will show that. Okay, once in a while, maybe a little marijuana. Really? She's in high school. What do you expect? Well, ma'am, she looks a little junkified to me. Yeah, sunken cheeks. I think I caught a little glimpse of yellow on her tongue just now, and I bet if you took a peek between her toes... That is completely out of line. You may not speak about my daughter hey. that way in my home. Hey, 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 what's the matter with you? What do you mean, what's the oh. matter with me? I'm doing my hey, job. I'm doing my cut job. Cut it! I apologize. My apologies, ma'am, please. My apologies. Go on. Uh, the night of the killing? I went to see that Vincent creep because I was pissed. I wanted to lay off my friend, not sell to her anymore. What's your friend's name? I'm not gonna tell you. Ooh. Shut up! Look. He was all screwed up. He'd been blowing that crap all night. And when I tried to leave, he got in front of me and he hit me. And then he ripped... He tore my shirt open. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you whatever you want to know, but I don't want to do it with him here. Take a hike. Take a hike. Take a hike. Okay, please, go on. Okay, you, you were saying. You still got it. Oh, I don't know. I didn't feel believable. You think I slammed that door too hard? No, no. It was good. I, I enjoyed it. What'd you get? Uh, Vincent tries to rape her. She hits him with a lamp, runs out of there. Goes to Lucas, tells him all about it. Lucas blows his top. How dare he touch my woman. Races out of there, comes back an hour later, blood all over him. Tells her he loves her and he's going to California. She's lying. Look, you like the kid. I get it. But even nice white boys get a little pissed off when you try to rape their girlfriends. Where's that? You, your daughter's being questioned by the police. You put on a robe, you come downstairs. I don't care how early Wall Street opens. Well, Mom refers to the place as my house. My guess is Dad has a lonely five-bedroom condo in Rittenhouse Square. Mm -hmm. Pictures on the mantle, two sisters, single mom. Who put the seat up? The toilet seat? You think Lucas is hiding here because the toilet seat was up? Lucas has three brothers. And you think I can get a warrant because the toilet seat was up? I'm not a cop. I don't need a warrant. You charge me with a B and E? No, but I'm certainly going to give chase. I told him to stop. Get out of my house! 
Where's your husband? Where's your boyfriend? What the hell is that mean? Seriously, Mike, you have to leave right now. Where's your daughter's room? He bolted. Yeah. Well, maybe I was wrong about that one. You could have just opened the door. Yeah, I could have. You, put your clothes on, now. Go figure. These people's kid is wanted for murder and they're still on vacation. I don't know, it takes a little while to get back from Stad. Same folks you had dinner with? They never showed. Sad story. Mm. What are you looking for? Evidence as to whereabouts. I'm telling you, he's got a car now. He's definitely on his way to California. People just don't know how to lie anymore. Never use the same one twice. You're not going to find anything. The cops have already been through here. Not with me. And not with you. These are his pictures? And you didn't bust them. Oh, sorry, Stacy. What? You're in these. Oh, 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 oh. Evidence. This guy's in a lot of them. Who is he? I don't know. Huh? It's Uncle Stan. And his boyfriend told me he spends every weekend with this guy. It's weird you wouldn't recognize him. See why it's so hard to be a good liar? You never know where it's gonna help you or hurt you. That one hurt you. A lot. We we'll check your parents' LUDs. We're gonna find a bunch of calls, Uncle Stan. He's in Seattle. <laughs> Who's this woman? Oh, you don't know? Yeah, Test fine. me. Yeah. Different. What? Something's different. What'd you do? Nothing. Yeah, I came in, turned on the light, picture frames. There was another one, wooden frame. Where is it? I'll go stand have a boathouse by any chance. Bonnie, go ahead. Talk flash near GRM, Washington. Shooter? No. The cab. Well, I didn't put any GRM on it. I dialed it in. Well, you were back there, you know. You Did like you me. touch my MDT? Please don't arrest me, officer. Oh, you didn't trust me? Imagine that. Dispatch is waiting. Yeah, um, thanks. Where is it? Spotted a little before 2 near the corner of 17th and Pike. Mondo Bondo Body Shop. No! No, 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 Thank no. you. Hang a left up there. Uh, we're going to the boathouse. No, hang a left. They're going to chomp it. If they chomp it, they probably gonna... already have. Stacy's locked up from harboring. She's not making any calls. The kid will keep. The car won't. Forget it. Yeah! Lopez! Who is it? It's Lopez. You hear that? Lopez! You know a guy named Lopez? I can't hear nothing. And we don't know no Lopez. No, no, no. no. It's Lopez. Lopez. Hey, please, please. Easy, easy, easy. This ain't a professional visit. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. What? Come here. Get over here. Get over here. Get over. Get over. Oh, 
Mike, I don't got time for this. All right. What are you looking at? It's Denton. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's Denton! It's Denton! It's Denton! We didn't do it. The hell you didn't. It was a brand new car. No, man, I swear that's not our fault. That's your problem. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's my problem. You stole my car. We did we bought it. The guy just told us where to find it. Okay. Okay, you bought the rights to steal a car. Congratulations. Fix it. What? Fix it. You got three hours. Pound it out, match the paint. We'll be back at 5.30. If it ain't ready, you're under arrest. What guy? I told you where to find it. This guy, six foot, brown hair. I think you had brown hair. You have brown hair? No, no, no. It's uh, it kind of blonde, but you no know, way. All right, feet. okay, okay, okay. Did he happen to have two broken legs? Look, said he won the cabinet card game. All right, he'll give it to us for a grand. All we gotta do is pick it up, because the guy left and he never gave him his keys. Right? We're done here? One more stop. It's to you, Donnie. How you doing? Yes, yeah, Washington. Oh, uh, hi. My stack. Thanks. What'd you start with? Maybe mm, a grand? Uh, yeah. Ooh. On a roll, then, huh? Oh, I am on such a roll. Do we have a problem here? Not at all. Is it to you, Donnie? A-T-H-E-R. Me? I'd go all in. Uh, actually, I was just about to fold. No, really? On a hand like that? Huh? Nines on fours? Hmm. No, I'd definitely bet it all. Just give me the address. Raise, Donnie. Three jacks. What do you want? Someone hands me an angle, I play it. 250 is yours, right? Right. Well, Donnie, looks like you owe me money again. Would it be okay with you if we arrest the murderer now? It's not part of our deal. Dark, empty old houses with killers inside. Give me the creeps. Fine. Stay out here. You don't need that. Stop talking. I got it. 
Stan, why'd you confess? Because I killed him. I watched him bleed. I sat down and watched him bleed. I closed his eyes myself. Now, if you were taking responsibility, why would you run? Same reason he hasn't pulled the trigger. No, if he was a coward, he wouldn't have made the phone call at all. No. He's protecting somebody. He deserved what he got. Oh, really? That'd be a first. Look, either shoot Mike, shoot yourself, well, let's go. It's late, and either way, I got paperwork. Marcellus. What? You want me to pretend like I give a damn? If anybody gave a damn about the kid, he wouldn't have a gun pointed at his head right now. He knows that. She loves me! Oh, yeah? She gave you up pretty easy. You hear the way she clunked that picture of the boathouse into the drawer? Huh? I mean, a big neon arrow would have got us here faster, but not by much. What do you mean? She gave you up, Lucas. Why are you protecting her? She loves me. Not the lie, Lucas! I love her! She worth dying for. Would she be ready to die for you? You think she'd care that you're here with that gun in your hand? You think she'd try to stop you? If she does love you, Lucas, you gotta put the gun down. And if she doesn't love you, What's the point? She just wanted drugs. He was my friend. I told him not to sell to her. He promised. She didn't mean to hurt him. It was an accident. She said it was an accident. No. It's gonna be okay. It's time to go. I can't tell anyone. Put the gun on the floor. No, this is my fault! No, Lucas. She's a drug addict who killed somebody. Let you take the fall for it. This is not your fault. You can't tell anyone! Lay the gun down, Lucas. Lucas, lay it down. Lucas, don't. Don't point the gun. Lucas, don't point the gun. All right, Lucas. It's all right. You'll be all right. Okay. I love that. You're going to be okay. Yeah, I need an ambulance. Undine Boathouse and Kelly Drive. Two gunshot wounds. One to the abdomen. All right, I'll take care of that when I come in. Okay. The safety was still on. Stupid kid. Maybe. If IAB somehow connects this to you, maybe focus on the pointed at me aspect rather than the safety was on aspect. I got enough explaining to do as it is. I've always got your back. Don't even got a lot this time, right? He made a mistake, Mike. Some people are better at paying the price than others. Like me. 
you gave up a lot. I appreciate that. Yeah. What, I don't say I love you often enough? Something like that. Oh, we're good, man. Look at us tonight. We were great. Yeah. Tonight. My cab should be ready. I got this. I got it. Don't do me any favors. Ever, ever. You are unbelievable, yeah, man. There's no servants. No. You know what, I just want to make a couple bucks. It was a mistake. Look, I don't care about the ferret. I mean, I care, and you're full of crap, but that's not what I meant. I mean, you solving this murder and, and then saving the ferret's life and still having time to fix the cab. Unbelievable. The cab? Yeah. You know, the front quarter panel. When you came by earlier, it had a nasty dent. Yesterday? Well, well, you just gotta know how to prioritize. <laughs>